for it and, and take it out when it comes. Okay, thank you so much, Cardo. Congratulations on your wins, and we hope to see what you got tomorrow. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so there you have it. They've won every single game they've played today. We're looking forward to what they have for us tomorrow. Back to you, boys. I've been champions of the National Seven Circuit a couple of times, but today haven't really looked at the races. And uh, let's see what they can do in this match. Certainly, they should be able to win this encounter against a very young Rwandis side. And with the likes of Edgar Bere, Joseph Oriwo, they should be able to, to be a handful for, for, the, for the Mwamba team. Of course, on paper, Mwamba would seem to be the form side. But we've seen... Um Bubbles being burst earlier on in the tournament with Impala going down to the Kenya Sevens Academy. Yes. So it could be anyone's game for the taking, depending on whichever team feels up to the task. And Mwamba burst on through. Joseph Oruo popping up the ball straight out to the wings. Chimwani missing the balls right through, and it looks like it'll roll out for a line out. No, the referee, I think, has called for a play there. He's not happy with something. I think it's, a, it's at an advantage to Mwamba. To the pair that there was perhaps a knock on on the pickup of the ball by the Rwandese team. So there'll be a scrum put in for Rwanda, who only have about, by my estimation, 15 meters to get into the try line area. So in the strike, so that's Meli Wanibuli, the Mwamba coach. Yeah, looking very worried so far, but Mwamba with a try there by Edgar Bere. And Mwamba take the lead. Mwamba take the lead. Edgar Bere, <laughs> darling, his uh, perceived relatives from somewhere within the world. <laughs> Very interesting dance celebrations we've seen today here from the Kenya Sevens Academy and now from uh, Mwamba and Edgar Bere just making it look so easy there. And Mwamba with the lead. Mwamba 5, Rwanda 0. And now for the conversion from uh, Mwamba, let's see if it will go. Oh, what a awful conversion kick. Very poor conversion kick there. I didn't even, I didn't even gain even ascendancy. Collins Amai there, winger with Mwamba, and an established sprinter in his own right. Yes. Actually uh, got into the finals of the 400 meter relay ahead of the World Championship. Yes, very, very solid sprinter, very good sprinter. One of Kenya's bright talents when it comes to sprinting. So Rwanda now with the ball, uh, and he's been held up held up trying to put him on the floor but they can't and, uh, and Mwambo are thinking that they've stolen the ball but it's been termed illegal and it will be a scrum down here and it's going to be a Mwamba feed three minutes into the game and Mwamba already leading by five points to nil battle to avoid the wooden spoon but both teams I think will go to the ball tomorrow morning and uh, Mwamba will, will be looking to build their confidence and their side yards in by Mwamba, although the counteract by Rwanda is respectable and they've turned over the ball. How about that for a challenge? Oh yeah, excellent play by Rwanda by the way. Now they need to convert that possession into points and uh, they seem to be going backwards. What can Rwanda do with the ball? And the referee has penalized them so it's going to be Mwamba ball. It's going to be Mwamba ball. Mwamba technical bench looking very anxious, not overly impressed by how their team has performed today. But if they can get a win, it may just uh, be good enough for them today as they build towards the ball category tomorrow. The referee ensuring that both sets of players are comfortable ahead of the scrum. Ball taken in straight and run the win the scrum but lose the ball immediately thereafter. The ball there, it was their own feet and they've lost it. And Wamba now with an opportunity to extend their lead in this game. Looping pass. Oh, he spots oh, a gap. That was a lovely one. That was a really lovely one. That was a Looped onto the pass, spotted the gap, and next thing Rwanda was seeing was try time. Try time. And uh, it's one for now, 10. Rwanda, zero. Rwanda have yet to get any points on the board in the first two games, and already trailing. Two tacklers, the two defenders. That was as easy as it will ever get from Wamba. They certain, lead by 10 points to your. Certain a couple of pertinent questions will be asked by the Rondis coach as to what exactly happened there. Seem both to think that the other were going to get the tackle and 
eventually both of them looked at each other and tried for Mwamba. Absolutely. Uh, Rwanda seemed to be six and sevens. And once they get the possession, they seem to be coughing it up. They don't have the confidence to run the ball. And it's going to be a line out for Rwanda. It's going to be a line out for Rwanda. Uh, we're left with a minute and a half to the end of the first half. Here are the Safari Cup sevens. Rwanda zero, Mwamba ten in the main cup competition. Yesterday we had the vets at the schools category, but today it's a it's a main cup category. And let's see what the teams uh, are, have to offer. We've seen some interesting matches today, and Mwamba now piling on the pressure on Rwanda. Advantage: Rwanda have the ball. They spread it on wide. Still playing deep within their territory. That what looks ominously lost because there are four strong looking Mwamba players lodging the ball up in there and I do not see Rwanda retaining that ball and ball has been turned over, scrum put in for Mwamba. That's an excellent level of what we, we have seen Kenya employing that tactic, yes. um, especially on the IRB series for the national oh, yes. team. It the looks boys, like it's something the clubs are picking up on. Yeah, the boys are physically bigger and they know how to do it. Uh, it's, it's a technical position. Just holding up your man. Don't allow you to go to ground and, and you get points. So. Wamba with a chance to make it 15 now. An attacking scrum here. Edgar Berry with the ball put in from Wamba. Manages to hold on to it barely just. Wamba don't look very comfortable in that rack. Joseph, Joseph Murray gets the ball, spreads it wide. Step in. And Chimwani just falls down before getting the ball. Edgar Berry is not too happy with that. So it's going to be Rwanda ball with the last five seconds of the first half remaining. What can Rwanda do with this ball? They have to score, I think. They really need to score. It has been a very tough tournament for them so far. But they need to actually put their head up high and, you know, put come on in and score. Put some points on the board. Small gap seen out in there becomes a very, very non-existent one in a, minute, in a matter of minutes. Huh? Yes, absolutely. And uh, I think the first half should end right now. The referee and the passage of play. We are well, we are well past our limit here, but it depends on the hooter. There goes the hooter. Not straight. And it's half time, and Mwamba leading by 10 points to zero. It's a very cup seventh uh, main cup category. And the Mwamba, just I mean the, the better side marginally, the experience, the ball retention, the ball handling has been better from them. Rwanda just looked to be in sixes and sevens so far, not knowing what to do. And uh, Mwamba now. A very strong position to win the encounter. Not communicating. You can do better, guys. You can do better. 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 You can let <laughs> The second half just about to start in this game between Rwanda and Mwamba. Mwamba leading by 10 points to nil, but it looks like both sides will be headed to the bowl category in tomorrow's action. Having lost their first two games in the competition to Kenya Shujam and Western Province. And uh, Mwamba kick off. The Rwanda half, but the ball has across the 10 meter line, and it's going to be Rwanda ball 
from the from the, from the halfway line. What can Rwanda do? Let, let, let's see some magic from Rwanda. Awful kick from oh, Rwanda. Brilliant play him. from Rwanda. And it's a I mean, Mwamba be penalized. Rwanda almost scoring a try there. What can they do with this ball? It is a ball they're like 10 meters away from the try line. Mwamba steal the ball from their own try box. And here comes Mwamba and he's gone. That's a try. That will be a try. A clean play of Hills Chibwani who's 80 meters glides <laughs> up into the air, scores Mwamba's third try of the match. And Kevin Bling Mwambua excited, looking very happy about that try. And Mwamba comfortably now in the driver's seat. They lead by 15 points to nil here at the Moy International Sports Center Kasran. The Safari Com 7's second day main cup competition. And Rwanda was just swatted off the ball away and Mwamba off. Running 80 meters to score at the center. And uh, Mwamba now in a very strong position. It took effort to kick Mwamba on. Ronda retained the possession and charge upwards oh and they lose the ball they return the ball referee didn't see anything wrong there look like it would have been a scrum down but a clean pair of heels and Rwanda Wamba are well on course to score their first try of the tournament Rwanda scored their first try on the tournament Mwamba T and Braganza not too happy with that score by Rwanda So Rwanda chalk up their first points of the tournament with the subsequent conversion, very successful. So Rwanda 7, Mwamba 17. Sounds a bit like a tongue twister. Mwamba and Rwanda. Mwamba. <laughs> Sounds like a tongue twister. Mwamba, Rwanda. But kudos to, to, to Rwanda. They scored a try. Some good hands. And the after uh, and the after banners. The gas there charging all the way to the try line and to the center post and Rwanda score a consolation try and it's going to be 17-7 to Mwamba against uh, Rwanda the Safari Com 7's main cup competition scrum feed to Rwanda what can they do with this? The scrum feed here to Rwanda, by the way. We are left with three and a half minutes remaining. Can they cause a sensational upset and score another try, which will blow the game wide open? Rwanda seem to have made in some very inspired substitutions in there. Yes. Seem to have actually changed the tempo of the game within the second half. Yes. Very true, Hillary. Uh, Rwanda looks look to be more energized and more organized in the second half. And, uh, let's see if they can get something out of this game. Run down the attack. Run down the attack and it's going to be a second try. Rwanda. Rwanda scored the second try of the, of the match and it's game one. From a score of 19 points to nil. Mwamba are only leading 19 points to 12. You beg to start answering, where were these players in the first half? Well, where have they been in the whole tournament? That was excellent play. And uh, Rwanda are back in this game. They are back in this encounter. Mwamba should not think that this was supposed to be an easy ride. Definitely is it, uh, with the lead cut to a one point, sorry, a one scoring chance uh, uh, margin. I think Mwamba need to be very wary of the threat that Rwanda could pose in the next two minutes. They miss a the kickoff. Oh, clever tap in there by jo uh, Joseph Oriwo. Keep the ball in play. 
and Ronda keeping off from the uh, racks. They're not counter-racking or interested in doing anything in there. They have an extra man out in there. Quickly cut off by the Rondis defense. He's been very disciplined on that particular move. Almost got an intercepted pass. Referee playing advantage for the knock-on. Mombasil on the onslaught. Luis Kisia getting Edgar Berry, who has a clean pair of heels. Does he manage? Oh no, he spills the ball. He falters to the extra defender, the touchline. Very well defended by Rwanda in there. Let the player come on through. Didn't give them a lot of space. And when it really mattered, push them off to the touchline. Great defending there by Rwanda. Great defending by Rwanda, but they've saved a certainty of a try there. And the game is still on a knife edge. It's 19-12 to Mwamba. Again, it's to Rwanda. Uh, that right is time. game over, by the way. A costly mistake by the Rwandese on their line out and on the defense. And Mwamba equalized. Mwamba scores. Sorry, Mwamba scores. And that will take the score to uh, 24 points to 12. You've got to protect your ball at the line out, and Mwamba just did it. Coming up next after this game will be an all Kenyan affair Kenya Commercial Bank KCB versus Nakuru. Kenya Commercial Bank, um, the winners of the National Seven Circuit, playing against Nakuru, who won the National Kenyan uh, League title. Nakuru won the Kenya Cup title earlier this year in February. Didn't play so very well on the seventh circuit, but KCB, who won three tournaments, will be looking to add more misery on Nakuru and win this game. And there goes the Huta. Huta Kefa said to kick Mwamba in for the last play of the game. And that ball did not go 10 meters. Ten yards. So it will be a half penalty for Rwanda who will have a chance to at least make the scoreline a bit more respectable to their favour. Oh, he looked a bit uncomfortable right there. Referee not too happy with the player coming from the side, not using the gate entry. And Rwanda still on the rampage, advantage Rwanda. They're looking on finishing up big. They lose the ball. The referee was not too keen about uh, the 10 meters from yes, the previous uh, penalty. Key, yes. So he has taken it backwards again. We are in the last passage of play. Uh, the Safari Com 7, uh, Mwamba versus uh, Rwanda match here at the Point National Sports Center. That is going to be Rwanda seemingly trying to play in the e and quarters, but Group e we have seen them employ that and it didn't work before. Getting into contact against Mwamba, they'll just hold you up. Luis Kisia comes out to the ball, pops it out wide, take on in, draw in three defenders. They need a quick ball out if they need to take the ball into contact each and every time they're passing. Joseph Oriwo still holding on to the ball. Mwamba still keen on scoring another try. And yes, Mwamba looks yes. like they will get Mwamba will get a field try. Rwanda pumped in so much energy on the contact phase on the other side. Net yes. effect was that they lost the ball and eventually tried time for Mwamba. Oh yes, still taking his way. time, still Take taking his time. time. Score the try. Mwamba's field try takes the points, tally to 29 points 29. for Mwamba and 12 for Rwanda. 29 points to 10. And uh, Wamba win the final game of the of day one, of day two of the tournament by 29 points to 10. But having lost two games earlier to Belgium and Samoa, they will not be in the tournament. Made cup, made cup tournament. Will be there in the cup tournament. Too. Congratulations, Wamba. Commiserations, Rwanda. They have indeed come a long way from Kigali to attend this tournament. But they still definitely have day two tomorrow where they'll fight it out in the bowl. Next up, All Kenyan Affair, KCB Kenya Commercial Bank versus Nakuru from the Rift Valley town of Nakuru.